What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new, highly anticipated tweet called LockInfo7. So if you guys have heard of or used LockInfo before, then you know that LockInfo is going to be a quality tweak. So it's just been updated for iOS 7, and let me go ahead and jump into the lock screen just to show you guys exactly what you can do with this tweak. So to begin with, you can see right up here at the top that we have a newly designed clock as well as date right up there in the middle. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, then you're going to notice that weather widget as well as our contacts right here. So it's basically just going to give you your weather right here and your favorites right down here. So if you want a quick access to your favorites, like if I wanted to call my girlfriend or call Obama, then I can easily do so just by tapping on their face and then either tapping call, send message, FaceTime or cancel. Very simple. Now, if we swipe over from the right, then you can see that we have our forecast right here for our specific location. So that's pretty nice as well. So that's always going to be there unless you disable this in the settings. So we'll swipe back over to our lock screen. And if we scroll down a bit, then you can see that we have our notifications. Now you can obviously collapse these very easily just by tapping the banner just like that. And it's going to collapse those specific application notifications. Now, if you want to actually clear one, you can just tap the X and then tap clear and it's going to get rid of those notifications. Now, a really nice thing that you can do with the messages as well as uh, with your mail is you can swipe all the way to the left and you're going to get that green check mark. That means that the message is going to be marked as red. Now, if you do the exact same thing except swipe to the right, then with the messages, if you have Aki or Byte SMS, then this is going to automatically open up your quick reply. Now, if you don't have Aki or Byte SMS, then this is just going to automatically launch the application within the iPhone. So we're just going to tap cancel. So that's pretty nice that it has that built in integration with Byte SMS as well as Aki. So that's the basic functionality that you have with this tweak. You can either swipe from the right and mark it as red, or you can swipe from the left and open up the application within itself, except for the messages that has that integration for Aki as well as Byte SMS. So let's go ahead and swipe to unlock and we'll go over into our settings and we'll check out what settings we have here. So first of all, you get a 14 day trial period with this. So you can use this for two weeks and then after that two weeks, this actually costs $4.99. Now, if you've actually purchased this previously, lock info, then you actually get the new update for iOS 7 for absolutely free. So that's pretty nice. And also, if you've purchased NC Agenda or Forecast, then you're going to get a discount on this tweak. I'm not quite sure how much, but you do get a discount. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the actual settings here. You have your notifications. So if we tap on the Notification Center, then you're going to see exactly what you can do with this. You can access certain portions on the lock screen. So if you want to access the notifications view on the lock screen, which is basically the entire tweak, then you can toggle that on. If you don't want that, you can toggle it off. I don't recommend purchasing this if you want that toggled off, but you can see right here that we also have the today view. So you can toggle that on if you want to. And scrolling down here, we have access in the notification center. So you have your notifications view as well as today view. You can toggle those on or off depending on your preference. And then you have all of your options for the actual today view within your notification center. So you can can toggle that on and off however you'd like. Down here we have the notifications view where you can sort this manually or you can sort them by time. So basically just however you like to have it set up. Down here you can actually edit what you want in your notifications. So you can move this around like I was talking about. You can move the weather all the way down to the bottom, the contacts all the way down to the bottom. Just basically again however you'd like this set up. And if you don't want this stuff showing up on your lock screen then you can easily just take this and drag it down to do not include. Down here we have our government alerts, so we have amber alerts as well as emergency alerts. So we're just going to tap done and we're going to go back here. And here you have tap to launch, so you can toggle that on or off just depending on how you want it set up, as well as select to swipe. So select to swipe requires you to select a notification before swiping it left or right for notification actions. Down here we have lock screen, so you have your appearance. You can actually hide some of the features right here, so you can hide the slide to unlock. You can hide the lock clock. And having this toggled on, the status bar clock shows the status bar clock when the lock clock is hidden. Down here, you can toggle on hidden album art or hide album art if you want to do that. Below that, we have screen dimming. So if you tap on that, you have your notification delay, which is at default right now. You can set this to however much you want. So basically, this is just going to keep the screen from dimming on the lock screen, depending on uh, how much time you want to spend on there. You have your active delay at 45 seconds and your preview delay at two minutes. That's just to keep that lock screen up and running so it doesn't dim on you or close out and go to sleep. 
Down here you have bypass passcode. So if you have a passcode on your device and you try to open up a notification, then it's going to bypass that passcode if you have this toggled on. Scrolling down some more, we have today view so you can hide the date. You can also hide the weather and stock footer just by tapping and toggling those on. And weather right here, you have your weather settings so you can show the current weather if you want to do that with the clock in the bottom left or never. And going back, we have the forecast page so you can show the forecast page, which is just that forecast page that I was showing you uh, right here. I'll show you again real quick if we can get the lock screen to come up. That's the forecast page right there. So you can hide that if you'd like. And right down here, we have the status bar time. You can turn that on or off. You can also update this depending on uh, what time interval you'd like. You can do it every minute, every 30 minutes, every 12 hours, just basically however much you want. Of course, the more or the more frequently that you update this, the more battery usage that it's going to take. And scrolling down some more, we have weather wallpaper. So you can show this on the lock screen, you can show it on the home screen, you can turn on animations, you can adjust wallpaper dimming as well. So just to show you guys what that looks like, we're gonna go ahead and toggle this on, and then we're gonna go to our lock screen real quick. So you can see basically what it does in the background has that animated. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the clouds moving. And basically it's just based off of what weather that you have right here, what the current weather is. So we're going to slide to unlock one more time and jump back into the settings here. And you have your sections count. So this is basically just some general settings that you can set. So you can actually set up the section counts only when collapsed. You can turn it on all the time or never. So if we toggle this on, this is basically just going to tell you how many notifications you have from a specific application. So we'll go ahead and open this up and you can still see that we have the uh, notifications all expanded, but we still have that number right there of 11 notifications. So that doesn't change whether we expand or collapse the app and let's go back in one more time and go back to advanced so if you tap on this you can allow debug logging if you toggle that on as well as reset all your settings so that's lock info 7 in a nutshell if you want to check out this tweak then you can download this in Cydia for free and you get that two week trial period so if you want to check it out go ahead and do so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.